first part goes into the last Spitfire. The five years' work of number one civilian repair unit at Cowley, Oxford, comes to an end. It all started in the life and death days of the Battle of Britain. Pilots brought in their damaged kites, stood by while they were patched up, took straight off again for another crack at the Luftwaffe. Now we've got more Spitfires than we know what to do with. Still, if the missus doesn't fancy a fighter plane in the empty garage, tell her to sit tight, for here they come. Britain's post-war cars, exclusively photographed by Pathé Cameraman. I could do with one of those to brighten up the paint on my front door. By the way, you can have any colour you like for the car, so long as it's black. Well, there don't seem to be any parts left over. It won't be long now. Already a few thousand wives are getting in their applications for backseat driving lessons. At last they've emptied all those NFS water tanks. A tiring job. <laughs> Sorry. Not so long ago it would have been a Spitfire coming off the belt. Before the war, this plant could turn out a car a minute at 60 an hour. In a day, let's say 600. In a week, well, you work it out. A sight for war-weary eyes. Cars, cars, and more cars. And the workers roll up in limousines. Perhaps they couldn't get a permit. <laughs> <laughs> 